For a long time, Mars was seen as a dry and silent world, with no trace of air around it. After all, when viewed from Earth, there's no visible sign of an atmosphere surrounding the red planet. But that impression is misleading. The truth is, Mars does have an atmosphere, although extremely thin. And thanks to technological advances in space missions, we now have real images showing this gas layer in impressive detail. To give you an idea, this layer of gases represents just a tiny fraction of the air density we experience here on Earth at sea level. That's why for a long time we knew it existed, but it was almost invisible to our eyes, until more advanced missions started arriving there. Only with the constant presence of probes and satellites orbiting Mars were we finally able to see, in real detail, the traces of this nearly ghost-like atmosphere. The belief that Mars doesn't have an atmosphere still circulates out there, but it's just a common misconception. The confusion comes from the fact that, when compared to Earth's atmosphere, Mars's is incredibly thin, nearly 100 times less dense. Still, it's there, steady and persistent, made up mostly of carbon dioxide, which accounts for about 95% of it. The rest includes small amounts of nitrogen, argon, and traces of oxygen. Even though it's weak, this atmosphere is functional. It produces winds that can whip up dust storms so intense they cover the entire planet for weeks. It also directly affects Mars's temperature, causing extreme shifts between day and night. Since it doesn't retain heat very well, nights can be brutally cold while daytime can be surprisingly milder, at least by Martian standards. But this thin layer of air isn't only responsible for weather phenomena. It plays a vital role in space missions that aim to land on the planet. When a probe enters the atmosphere, even though it's so sparse, it still provides enough resistance to deploy parachutes and braking systems, though not as effectively as on Earth. That demands extremely precise calculations by engineers to make sure each descent is safe. At the same time, the atmosphere's weakness poses a challenge. It's not strong enough to burn up meteoroids effectively, like Earth's atmosphere does. So, many meteorites hit the surface almost intact, forming well-preserved craters. True records of cosmic history. This makes Mars a natural museum of impacts, offering valuable clues about the history of the solar system. Despite all these challenges, it was thanks to scientific persistence that we managed to capture the first real images of Mars's atmosphere. One of the key contributors was the Mars Express Orbiter, launched by the European Space Agency. Since arriving in Martian orbit in 2003, it has been capturing stunning images of the planet's thin gas layer. Some of these photos show the Martian horizon with a faint bluish line, the visible signature of its atmosphere. It looks like a subtle breath tracing the edge of the planet, a detail we once could only imagine based on charts and simulations. This same atmospheric layer has also been recorded in other ways by different missions. NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, for example, was sent specifically to study Mars's upper atmosphere. It revealed something surprising. The planet is still losing gases to space even today. That's because Mars's magnetic field essentially vanished billions of years ago, leaving the atmosphere exposed to the solar wind. Over time, charged particles from the sun have been sweeping away the lighter gases like hydrogen, making the atmosphere increasingly thinner. This brings us to an interesting thought. Mars wasn't always as dry and cold as it is now. There's evidence that, in the distant past, the planet had a thicker atmosphere, thick enough to support liquid water on its surface. Rivers, lakes, and even oceans may have existed there for millions of years. But without a protective magnetic field, the planet was slowly stripped of its gas layer, transforming into the frozen desert we know today. But what happens to the little bit of atmosphere that remains? It's still going through changes and behaves in dynamic ways. During the Martian summer, for example, atmospheric pressure increases in the polar regions due to the sublimation of CO2 ice, commonly known as dry ice. This gas returns to the atmosphere, temporarily changing its density and composition. In winter, the process reverses, and part of the atmosphere literally freezes at the poles. It's fascinating to think that, even in such a weak state, Mars's atmosphere still maintains a seasonal cycle. It responds to temperature changes and participates in a delicate climatic balance that helps shape the planet. Every tiny variation, no matter how small, is recorded by orbiting probes or surface rovers, providing a real-time view of the transformations happening there. Among the most stunning images we have of Mars's atmosphere are those taken at sunset, 
Unlike what we see on Earth, where the sky turns shades of orange and red, sunsets on Mars are bluish. This phenomenon happens because the dust particles in the Martian atmosphere interact with sunlight in a different way. Instead of scattering blue light and letting red light pass through, like here on Earth, on Mars it's the opposite. Red light gets scattered, and blue light is funneled directly forward, illuminating the direction of the sun with a cold, almost magical glow. These images were captured by rovers like Spirit, Opportunity, and more recently, Perseverance. The Perseverance rover's Mastcam Z camera, for instance, recorded a Martian sunset in high definition, showing a deep blue tone surrounded by a sky that fades from gray to pale pink. It's a beautiful scene, but it also serves as valuable scientific data, helping researchers understand how sunlight interacts with the suspended dust and how that dust affects the local climate. Speaking of dust, it's a key element of Mars's atmosphere. Although it's not made up of clouds like Earth's atmosphere, the Martian air is often filled with fine mineral dust particles. These particles are so light they remain suspended for long periods, affecting visibility and even surface temperatures. During more intense dust storms, sunlight can barely penetrate, which may interrupt the power supply from solar panels on probes and rovers. In 2018, for instance, a global dust storm swallowed nearly the entire planet. The storm was so severe that it marked the end of the Opportunity rover's mission, which lost contact after its solar panels became completely covered. This event reinforced just how powerful and unpredictable the Martian atmosphere can be, even in its thinness. Since then, NASA and other space agencies have adjusted their strategies, making future missions more resilient to these types of disruptions. Each new mission brings more details about Mars's atmosphere, helping scientists build a more accurate climate model of the planet. This knowledge is crucial, not just for scientific reasons, but also for practical goals. After all, if we ever want to colonize Mars, we'll need to fully understand how its atmosphere works. From the moment a spacecraft enters it to the breath of a future astronaut, Mars may seem like an arid, cold, and silent world. But when we look closely, we realize its atmosphere, fragile as it may be, still holds fascinating stories about the planet's past and future. Every image captured, every bit of data sent by probes and rovers, brings us a little closer to understanding a world that might one day be humanity's second home. Understanding how this gas layer works is more than scientific curiosity. It's a critical step in planning the impossible, living on another planet. And if you also find that future exciting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button to support the project and share this video with anyone else who dreams of exploring the cosmos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.